Ooh, what's up everyone, my name is Nightbrow and welcome back to more Paper Mario Thousand Send Your Doors on the last episode. We beat the, the third chapter's boss and we played as Princess Peach and we found out that Sir Broad is, is planning on conquering the world with using the Crystal Stars. And now we're gonna play as Bowser. That that thing is humongous. Everybody, hide now, save, save yourselves. Stupid shit, Mario. Who would have thought that fool would have been Glitzville? Did you say something, your, your rudeness? Uh, no, nothing at all. As far as you know. Hey, do you still see those little bit, uh, bite sized shrimps? What were those things? Those were. Th th those were some punies! One of them should know about the Crystal Star. They fear you, so they're all hiding. Let's find them all and get the, get the info we need. <laughs> Yikes! This guy's big and bad. He's larger and, and in charge. Okay. Yik! You're scary, Mister Giant Bad Rat Monster. D don't don't worry, P uh, Pituni. Your big brother is here. B get through this. <laughs> You're one of those, aren't you? One of those evil doers you want our crystal star? Ha! See, I knew it! This ugly thing knows where the crystal star is, tell us! How rude! Ugly thing, how dare you, you wretched crone! I'm the great puny elder! Eep! My heart! Don't start me like that! I'm too old for this stuff! <laughs> uh, oh god, which one should I pick? Uh, <laughs> this hack versus hack awesome. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be fun. Uh, let's go with this one. I never I never did this one, I think. Ahem! Uh, yes, Lord Bowser! You look, you look as if you're just dying to say something! Huh? Huh? No, nothing. Let's move on, shall we? You elder hag thing, we're the crystal star. And don't try pulling the rank again. Your answer, not your age, will determine your fate. Hmm. Hag thing? Honestly. In any case, you're too late, the crystal star is gone. Huh? What? That's right, your rude thing. We gave it to a, to a mustachio man named Mario. He said he was collecting the legendary treasure to rescue some princess. What did he call her? Uh, Princess Peach? Yep, he was offered up to save the luck glass. It's Mario, not Mario! It's not Princess Peach! Her name is Princess Peach! But your, your, <laughs> but your sin, sin, senility? Whatever, it's beside the point. The princess and treasure must be connected. Mario's trying to cut to get it all. Treasure Princess, does he greet it? The secret never ends. That jackal, that jackal, both Princess Peach and the Crystal Star belongs to me, to me. If I find him, I'm going to finish him off once and for all. I swear. Okay, that was short. Yes, that's safe. Also, I found out recently that that the Game Grumps they finally started playing Paper Mario Thousand Year Doors again. Which makes me really happy because I've been wanting to see them continue playing this game, which I love so much. And whenever they play, it's really funny. Oh look, they're still alive. So yeah. So now nah, you must leave. I understand. If you must, you must. We don't delay you. How you succeed, succeed in finding the rest of the Crystal Star? Good luck, Gonzalez. I'll tell you, Rocka ain't gonna fight dirty anymore. I'm gonna hit that weight. Take some vitamins and win the tile fair and square. And I'm never ever gonna lose again. Remember when life <laughs> when life rocks you, rock back. Listen listen, G-Man. Thanks for everything, you, man. You're the nicest dude I ever met. And if you ever need it, I got your back. 
Me, I think we're gonna chill here and improve my, my skill. King K, that is vague. Yeah, whatever. And it's all thanks to you, dog. You're my boy, Mario. Now that Grubba is out of the picture, I'm gonna take uh, take over running the glitch pit. If you ever decide to return to the ring, just come back and keep your spot open. You have a ton of fans and they absolutely love it. If you made a, if make a comeback, anybody, think it over, okay? I'll, and travel safe. I still haven't found the third shine sprite in this place. Or did I? I don't know anymore. Alright, that, that makes three crystal stars. You better go back to, to Roadport, Mario. Look, I wanna check first. Wait, I have four? You know what, I'm not gonna question it. I ain't gonna question no more. <laughs> Let's go back to Roadport and upgrade our partners. Damn it, the phone's falling. Stupid microphone stand. Well, at least we can go back to Roadport. Let's see. You know what? I'm gonna go since I have a lot of coins. I'm gonna go back to the gambling place and see if I can get some uh, some items. Because I know that the gambling place you can get a couple of stuff, which is pretty useful. So I'm gonna go do that. I hope I have enough for it though. Okay, let's go to the gambling place. We still have plenty. Oh, never mind. Uh, Mario, do you think that another email from Princess Peach? Dearest Mario, I have a, I have uncovered something terrible. This thing, the X now, they're they're planning to take to take to take control of the world. It's, it's, it's to that end that they're searching for the Crystal Star. I still don't know what the Crystal Star do, but you must try and get them all. I will get what, I, what information I can. Princess Peach. They, they, they want to rule the wor w world? I, I don't like the sound of that. For a moment there I thought I saw a freaking star, star piece. Whatever. Okay, I don't know what's going to be the next chapter, but I'll figure that out later. Uh, okay, I need refunds. And I can also use this. Okay, so first, free fawn. Uh, let's see. Oh wait, huh? Damn, that's a lot. I'll do the three, four times. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna save some. You know what? I'm done. I'm really done. Uh, yes, give me that thing that I want. No. Okay, I got that refund, which is gonna be good for once. Oh wait, this way, refund. Oh, it only costs one. Refund at some point if you use an item in battle. That's gonna be useful for once I have like enough money for it. Well, once I have items. I'll hold six point blah blah blah. Okay, thank you. Okay, so, so since I have now the refund badge, I can use. Oh, wait. I'm, I'm gonna check them later. Since I have the refund badge, I can now use any item that I have, and once I use it, I can get money out of, out of it, of using them. So that's good. I'll be able to get more money this way. But now, let's go and buy the, some of the other badges that's up here. And at this point, I think I'm gonna be broke. Uh, whatever. It'll go well, I guess. Okay, what is this? Power Rush. Increase attack power by 2 when Mario is in danger. That is pretty good. Let's buy this. Thank you. And this is... 
Do I first try to defeat the weak foes without battling? Feed drain. How much do I have? 50. See, it's a probably to shrink foes and drop attack power. Do drop the damage your ally takes by. Okay. I'm gonna, buy, I'm gonna go buy this. But at least I have some remaining. And now that we get done that, let's go back to Luigi. And then upgrade our partner. Now let's see what Luigi has to say about his adventure. Well, I got my second piece of the marvelous compass at Plum Belly Village recently. Ooh boy, I really got my, my hands dirty on that one. I'll tell you what. It was pretty well, bro. I want to hear what happens in, in that pretty long story. It sounds good to me. Which part of the story do you want to hear, bro? Plum Valley Village. Well, like I said, it's a really long story, but here it goes. Once we made our landfall on <laughs> Straddle Continent, we made for Plum Valley Village. Once we got there, though, we immediately noticed that something was wrong. We learned from the mayor that the town was ruled by a giant thing named Hiza. <laughs> he said his own daughter was gonna be offered up as a sacrifice to the to this beast too. So of course, being a hero, I offered myself up to go in in her state. Brave, brave, huh? And that the custom was for sacrifice to be dressed as a bride. So I got so I got all dolled up, and I was one of the sac. I, I was one hot sacrifice, bro. <laughs> I looked so good. I fooled our foes and got it. I got his his own layer. It was kind of rough fighting. In that in that gun, but I managed to to shift and really shift as well. Whatever. I finally found Hisa and the snake, and has second head on on its tail. Talk about scary. I fainted real quick, but when I came to, I managed to dispatch both heads. Wait, is this a is he talking about that boss from? I, I mean, I don't think that's the name of the boss, but is it a, is he talking? Is this a reference to the boss from Super Mario Bros. Two? I had reared up a fang bear to attack and at the moment I definitely long left. His gaping mouth smashed into one another and he vanished into a cloud of smoke. A, sh a shiny plate fell down on the spot where his body has been coiled. Yes, another compass piece. I set it in and I put it east to circuit to circuit break island. Just as I was about to leave town, the mayor asked me to stay and marry his daughter. I thought about it and she was sort of cute, but we ended up sneaking out the next morning. I mean, I still have to save Princess Eclair from the Chestnut Kingdom. Uh, and when the Marvelous Compass activated that this time, I heard some somebody yep, somebody's boy. It was, a, it was so beautiful, bro. I'm certain it was Princess Eclair's voice. My heart began to race. That's when I realized that Princess Eclair, I think, I... Oh, I kinda stole out there, um, so yeah. We set sail again after ditching town, and somehow we managed to get back here to Ropeport, and here I am. Oh, you're in your crazy adventure. Hi, I guess I'm Jerry. I'm a babam from Plum Valley Village. Nice meeting you. Sorry, I sound so dumb, but you will be too if you saw Luigi dressed as a surprise. I'm serious, it scared me. He was honestly scarier than the giant snake thing. I feel I I feel I now have a moral duty to stop me from ever dressing as a bride again. I have to protect the world from my feet. That's why I'm sticking close to this guy. Oh poor poor Jerry. He should be called Sherry though, considering that he's a big ass Sherry. My bomb Sherry should be saying, but oh boy though, that is just funny. But I feel bad for Sherry for witnessing something terrible like that. <laughs> uh, enjoy my life. Okay, should, okay, I'm planning on upgrading guts for this one. I mean, usually I go and upgrade them in all order, but guts is really weak. Like, really weak. So let's go with guts. Oh, fuck, say the damn iPhone keeps falling. Should I power that this part now? Yes. Give him more power. Shazubi! Shazubi! I wonder if Shazubi and Shazubi is gonna be could be a good a good shirt or something like that. It would be funny though. 
Then you then you may go. Okay, you're level. Okay, you're level up. Good, good. What kind of ability do you got? Maniac. Check move. Throw egg at the uh, uh, Throw eggs at the uh, enemies to shrink them to tiny size. Uh, that's useful, I guess. Oh, that's good enough. Whatever. Let's, okay, I, I think I still have enough time. So, let's go down to the thousand year door and... No, wait. I'm gonna go buy more badges. Considering I have more star piece. Let's go, let's go do that first and then we go to the thousand year door. Because we need more badges. Okay, got eight, so... Peekaboo. Mm, let's see. I'm gonna go buy Peekaboo and then I'm gonna go buy... No, wait, 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 wait. wait. Uh, let's see. Item hug. Make it likely that items will appear after battle. That's actually useful. Oh uh, boy. The choices. You know what? I'm, I'm gonna go buy this. We need... We need the items for Modern Monday. Now it's going to a first strike. Let's buy this and then the effects. What kind of effects is it? I mean, I know it's just a sound effect, but what does it do though? What kind of sound make does it make? So I guess it's just the bell. That's silly. But whatever, at least I got some new badges. A lot of new badges. <laughs> One really useful one and a couple of other ones. So now let's go next to the thousand year door. I do not know where what the next chapter is gonna be, but I mean I know. Well, I, what? Oh wait, I have the hammer now. I can go break that block. So yeah. Ooh yeah, I can break this. Is there anything hidden here? And yet, ooh, shark, star piece. And an easier way to get up. Good. Secrets are fun. Okay, now that we have more stuff, we can actually progress even more. We got a letter. Wonder who it's from. Does anyone remember that? That rep that song from Blue's Clues? Do they still even show blue clues anymore? I mean, seriously. That's, that's one thing I'm a bit curious about. Okay, let's, let's see. Where is it located next? Okay, next. Okay. For, for, so, is, is that the next chapter then? The next chapter, we're gonna be getting Vivian as a partner. Sweet. Uh, okay, good. Hey, that shows where the fourth crystal star is. I can't, can't that frankly guy read it? That'd be cool, but first we better tell him that what Princess Peach had email said, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> what? The group that cre they keep that princess paid is, is bad on total work on quest? Uh, yeah. Uh-huh. You got that right? That's why the jerk need, need the legendary treasure. Huh. This doesn't... This, this, this doesn't bode well. The situation has gotten far more serious than I thought. Let me bring you up to speed. I've been re researching just what the treasure could be. One book it came across held to what I thought it was a preposterous theory. This book claimed that the treasure was, in actuality, the great cataclysm. That very cataclysm that a thousand years ago sank the, the town underground. So this jerk, this jerk thinks that the power of, the, of that cataclysm will, will help them rule the world? 
I I can't say for sure what they will do or why, but we must consider the responsibility. I mean possibility. Now that that thing had come to this, we mustn't let them near the legendary treasure. That all that matter because if they do get it, <laughs> then I can do the voice my freaking neck hurts. If they did <laughs> do get it, then once again this town, no, the entire world could be destroyed. And out with it, prof. We gotta find the next crystal star super quick. Huh. According to the map, it appears that the next crystal star is in Twilight Town. Twilight Town? To tell you the truth, I don't know how much I'm, uh, about this place myself, only rumors. I've heard that as the name implies, it's per perpetually dim and, and eerie there. Wait just a moment? Aha! Uh -huh. There appears to be a pipe to Twilight Town somewhere in Rogueport. I do believe it's somewhere underneath this west part of the of the town. Just that's that. Yeah, definitely. If you guys stuck for any reason, just come back and see me again, okay? Under the ground, the west part of the town. Check. Gotcha, Prof. Come on, Gonzalez. Let's go. Time to break up. And then, 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 then. Oh yeah, there's anything here. Okay. So that's so far. I've I've tattled everyone. We got an email. We just got a letter. We just got a letter. We just got a letter. Wonder who it's from. Oh wait, wrong. Wrong thing. Wrong thing. Never mind. <laughs> and Koopy Cube. And Dear Martin Koops, I hope you two are doing okay. I have to admit, with Koops gone, I haven't been doing very well. I get lonely and, and I go into Koops house and I smell that Koops smell. I guess it's your cologne or whatever, but it makes me so sad. I got used to your smell coops, uh... Oh, and the thing is your dad, Koopley, has his own smell and it's weird. I think maybe it's the smell of Koopley's guts. That's disgusting. <laughs> now I, I gross myself out. <laughs> oh, and since he's gonna be my dad too, uh, someday, I better get used to that smell, huh? Oh, what am I writing? <laughs> I'm still embarrassed, embarrassed, but I'm sending this anyway. <laughs> Love, Koopy Koop. Well, Koops, you better get married to her at some point. Because I don't know. Oh damn. Well, I think I think this is uh, at this point where I'm gonna stop the video. As so for now, I think I know where to look for that pipe because previously in the previous chapter. I went exploring a little bit and found a pie that I couldn't reach before, but now I can. So that's good. So at least I know where to go next for the next video. But for now I'm gonna stop for now because it's really late and I'm really hungry. I still haven't eaten anything. So yeah. So guys, thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm gonna go eat a donut now. So guys, if you want to, you can go check some of my other videos. It's gonna be fun. So yeah. So guys, thank you so much for watching my video, hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!